Hello Epic YouTubers, Mike here and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your firmware on your Sony ZV-1. Um, anyway, so the new firmware version is 2.0. It, it got released yesterday which was February 9th. Um, I know I already made a um, video on how to update your full frame Sony camera but I'm just making this again because uh, just for the, those people who just have ZV-1s and you know just first time updating this kind of stuff it gets kind of scary anyway let's jump in I just want to make a quick one so you don't get bored so first of all in order to update you just need your ZV-1 and make sure the battery is full because you don't want to have your camera go off in the middle of updating and also you need a computer. In this case, the tutorial is on a Mac computer, but it's probably relatively same as a PC. Um, and also you need a USB to micro USB cable. And so let's begin. So first of all, open up your web browser. Any kind is fine. Me personally, I use Google. And you go to the link. I'm gonna be posting up the link to the update on the description below so check that out so you go to this web page from Sony obviously and you're gonna see the ZV-1 system software update version 2.0 you'll see a download button obviously click and then you just go down 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 then your download button is gonna get highlighted and then you click on that it's gonna pop up where you want to save I'm just gonna save onto my desktop so very relatively not so big maybe big is 306 megabytes so once it's done you're gonna see it on your desktop double click let it mount let it do its thing opening update DSC blah 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 okay once it open this is gonna be a window and update settings tool you're gonna double click on this it's gonna give you a warning just say open and you type in your password for your computer and this window is going to pop connect the device to the computer with the USB cable so now is when you get your ZV-1 and connect your USB to your computer and to your ZV-1 you click OK the camera is still off by the way and this is gonna bring up another warning you just go open now you're gonna see and then you're gonna also again type in your password and this is gonna pop up now you just follow directions from here it says turn on your camera so you turn it on select USB connection from setup in the camera menu setting and verify that connection method is set to mass storage um, you don't really have to have this on mass storage you can also have it on auto which I have it on auto now you click on next so right on the bottom it says current version is 1.0 which is what I have and after the update you're gonna have 2.0 that is correct so you go next so camera will reset you have to wait and this is like the waiting game you'll see like the disc getting ejected not properly and all that stuff but please don't touch because you don't want to make your computer I mean make your camera into a brick I'm probably gonna fast forward because it might take a long time okay so finally after so many minutes uh, the update process has been completed now you're all good to go so this time you just go finish then the window is gonna close everything's gonna look fine so, so now version 2.0 that was it um, thank you for watching my video and hopefully this video helped you guys to successfully update your firmware on your Sony ZV-1 and if it, if it helped you out please give me like subscribe uh, if you guys like to see um, more content related to cameras especially Sony and Fuji cameras and, um, and until then I'll see you guys next time bye